Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jesse the Plants. We love bringing you new videos every week. And I know you enjoy watching them, so like this video. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you will know when new content is posted. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now sit back and watch this. Hello and welcome to Glorious Living. I'm Kathy Duplantis here in Studio C again, hoping that you're going to tell your friends to join in with us because we have an awesome show today. It's going to be glorious. And Chrissy's here with me again. Yes, always a glorious time in Studio C. You know, Miss Kathy, this is amazing. People are commenting from all over the world. We've had over 456,000 wow. views on Glorious Living. Mm -hmm. In just this year, we're about to come up on our, our year anniversary. Yes. And I'm telling you what, people are just being ignited in their faith, knowing that they can live a glorious life. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, and you've been with us on our first one. Next, week, next mm -hmm. time, I think we're going to celebrate an yes, anniversary service, yes, just you and I. Just you and me. It's going to be your sidekick. I love when she calls me that. <laughs> makes me happy. Oh, but I yeah. appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's so It's been so amazing. I actually have an email I want to share because it's somebody who, who really experienced a healing manifestation that I'd that. love to, in, I know it's going to inspire you. It says, I fractured my foot several months ago, and while the doctors were saying it was healed, it felt like a constant crushing pain <laughs> in my foot. Even while driving to your Nashville meeting, I was experiencing pain. During the service, if I would move it in a certain way, I would experience that same pain. Then at some point during the service, it was instantly healed mm. because I had been up on it constantly without pain ever since. Hallelujah. God, so love this that. was from a meeting. You know, we have so many aspects of the ministry, uh -huh. but this was during the Nashville meeting. This person came expecting and they received their miracle. Right in the middle of the service. And yes. just the same way people who are watching today, I believe that God can touch your life yes. and be healed just while we're talking because the word of God is filled with power. Yes. And every time Jesus manifests, when he walked the streets of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. everywhere he went, he went preaching, teaching, and healing. And so when the word of God that's going to be shared today is going to be so powerful. You do not want to miss it. Make sure you share it, share it with someone because their life is going to be radically changed. Hallelujah. Today we have a great, great guest. I'm so excited to welcome my friend Kathy Salufo back to the studio. And uh, she's been here. Like this will be her third her time. Her third, third time's the charm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's a co-pastor along with her husband, Randy Salufo of Believer's Life Family Church located in Gretna, Louisiana. And Kathy's such a blessing in my life. And she lives. She, she's such a blessing in the lives of so many other people too. She's here today to share one of her many glorious stories that I know will inspire you to live a glorious life in Christ. Kathy, thanks for coming Ooh, back. Welcome Thank you. back. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. It's always an honor. Amen. Yeah. Such a blessing. We just love you all so much and uh -huh. just everything y'all do has impacted Randy and I's lives. We say thank you. Well, you know, we've known ministry. you for, I've known you so many years. It's been over 20 years. I know that. Yes. And that, that's all we'll tell people. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But but you've been always so supportive. You you know, your church, Jesse's preaches at your church. In fact, he'll be at your church pretty soon in December. I think it's the first Sunday in December there in Believers at Believers Life on the West Bank. December fourth. December the fourth. Right. So good. Man, Man. Mark the calendar. 10 a.m. So December fourth. That's Welcome right. To it. Yes. So good. And yes. Kathy's always been so supportive here in the studio. I look at this lamp every time I come in here because <laughs> this was her gift to the studio. Well, thank you. So this part beautiful of you here all the time with us. Perfect. <laughs> yes. So even though you're not here, you're here. <laughs> Just like you. Jesse, he's always here. He's, he's got his here. photo here there somewhere. He is. <laughs> this is a great honor. It really is. Yeah. And I thank you all for having me come and share a testimony. Mm -hmm. um, my testimony actually starts way back. Yeah. It's something with my dad. Um, yeah. I was raised in a godly home, and I'm so grateful for it mm -hmm. with my parents. But um, even before then, jumping back to my dad, my dad was raised by his great aunt and his, his I'm, I'm sorry, my great aunt, but his aunt yeah. and his dad. His dad was working for the railroad, mm -hmm. and um, my father's mother had died when he was four. So his aunt so unselfishly, which was his dad's sister, gave her life. Instead of her, her having a family of her own, she raised my dad and his older brother. Okay. So like a four and a six-year-old, which is, wow. is quite a deal. Right. But was that here in the New Orleans area It was, yes. Well? Yes, right uh, near Brother Martin High School in Elysian Fields and Gentilly Boulevard, right in New Orleans. That's in the city. Yes, it is, mm -hmm. in the city of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, you know, my, my great aunt, my dad's aunt, 
She made sure those boys were in church every Sunday. Wow. And it, yeah. it's really amazing because I think a lot of times today, Kathy, yeah. you know, people miss the fact <laughs> that it's important to honor God. Mm -hmm. And people, you know, we know people stay home, watch TV and everything, you know, watch online preaching. And I know pe plenty of people can't get out, but there's a lesson and there's really something about honoring God. Mm -hmm. And you know, my dad was so devout with that and his aunt that he has medals from seven years straight, mm -hmm. never, never missing one Sunday wow. for Sunday school. And I just think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I think that it would be so great if people these days, you, you know, young people, could really get that because God honors us. Yeah. When we honor God like that, you know, and, and we show up, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we just let the Holy Spirit have his way in our lives. Great things happen. Yeah. And so it's so important too as parents. Well, this aunt who was his mother. I right. Guess, yes. In some way she mothered him, raised him, right. showed by example the value of going to church, you yes. know, and we'd lead by example. Mm -hmm. And if we get our kids up, they're going to know that church mm -hmm. is important. God's important. And, you know, they, they're disciplined when it comes to other things. Right. They're not going to miss that sporting event. Maybe That's they're right. not going to miss mm -hmm. school. But yes. you have to be equally to show how important church is. God right. should be first. God you know, should I be agree first. with that. Yes, That's and good. I have like I have Bibles like I have a, a Bible from 1892 and a Bible from 1894. Wow, this one's actually this. it's it's old as you can see, but it's it's in German. Uh -huh. 1892. This was from my aunt, uh, oh. my great aunt, my dad's aunt and that she raised was him. German? She was she a spoke German, German woman, yes. Uh -huh. And so um, she had you know this was things my dad gave me a few years ago, which yeah. is very valuable to me. Yes. You know, at this point, my brother has the medals from all of the years. <laughs> he got those medals, but I got these Bibles in this was a Bible from 1894, an American Bible wow. written in English. Oh, my, actually, it's this one, sorry. But this is a book, my dad's communion, when he made communion, 1942. Mm -hmm. He was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And look what it says in the Bible. It says, this book will keep you from sin. Sin will keep you from this book. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's quite Amen. amazing. That it's a, it's really great. But anyway, so my, my um, dad's aunt raised him and his brother. And it was just such a beautiful story. He got older, him and my mother got married. And, you know, they raised us the same way. They raised us in the church. You know, I went off for some years, but my parents were just righteous people. They loved God. And it was such an opportunity to be raised in a Christian home. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the decisions, I think sometimes people don't always realize decisions they make. And they think God doesn't see or people don't see, but God rewards everything we do for his name. Amen. And some years um, later, as we were growing up, we have a, a family, five children. One of my brothers got himself in some trouble. So at that point, my parents had always gone to the Presbyterian church and they enrolled him in a, a, a Christian school mm -hmm. and they kind they switched over to a spirit filled church. Okay. My parents did and the school was really helping my brother. And the Teen Challenge was really a big part oh, yes. of it. Mm -hmm. So I can remember now, my dad, you know, he was such a great man. He crossed over to uh, heaven. He graduated <laughs> and, in 2019 mm -hmm. <laughs> at the age, getting ready to be 90 years old, 89 years old. But the thing that happened um, with my brother and the Teen Challenge is that um, there was a, an offering that was being taken one time for Teen Challenge. And it, it just really blesses my heart because my dad worked six days a week until I was in high school. A very hardworking man, a good man, took care of his family. But, um, you know, with my... Um, home. We had, we were blessed. I mean, they did everything they could, but we never had air conditioning with those big attic fans and ceiling yeah, in fans. In South Louisiana, that's serious. In the <laughs> middle of summer. That, yes. <laughs> it, it was pretty hot, but this one year after my brother was being helped in the church, Teen Challenge was collecting an offering and we had the money. My dad had worked hard to set the money aside to get our home air conditioned. Mm -hmm. And when, when it came time and he heard about what Teen Challenge was doing to help other young people like my brother, mm -hmm. he gave that. Mm -hmm. He gave the money wow. for the air conditioning. And it was amazing. God, like God never sleeps, never forgets anything. My sister ends up years later marrying an AC guy and they got free air conditioning there the rest of their life. But, <laughs> yes. but I mean, but the point was you his heart. Both. His yes. heart was put God to first. help and put God first. Yes. Mm -hmm. He felt the Holy Spirit tugging on his heart mm -hmm. and he thought, we, we never had AC before one more year. It, and it was in okay. gratitude for what had happened to your, for your brother yes. through yes. that organization. Yes. You know. 
Yes. It's, it's so important mm -hmm. to sow a seed when you when the Lord prompts you. He, you know, family. What did you? How would y'all think when he was doing that? As, well, as kid, kids. the kids didn't like <laughs> it. Like, no. The kids didn't like it. <laughs> I need my he, seed. Yeah, but he just kept saying, "We did without it all these years. Yes. One more year won't hurt." He knew the money would have went to a much better cause. Yeah, I love that. And it, and it did. And then another thing with my dad, I, I didn't say, but all growing up, every night, I, I watched my dad, like at bedtime, he always read his Bible. Mm -hmm. And that really did impact my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, with five kids, we didn't always act like angels, okay? Mm -hmm. We'll put it like that. <laughs> and the thing my parents always had us do every night before we went to That's bed, right. regardless of what went on all day long, we all had to kiss and hug and tell each other we loved one another That's beautiful. and make things right before we yeah. went to bed. Wow, what a beautiful memory, especially when we're approaching Thanksgiving season right. and mm -hmm. families are coming together. You know, it's, and like you said, everything wasn't always perfect, but God brought the family back together yes. and, and you took time to be with each other. Yes. And they honored the word of God and put, he instilled things in you that that you're still gleaning from today. Amen. I can see that in your yes. life. Exactly. Of course, you, as you, they, they prob he probably saw you preach the gospel he several did. times. Yeah, they were in our church for years uh -huh. too, yes. Yes, and um, we just had such great, uh, great examples, him and my mother, um, you know, just wonderful, wonderful opportunities because mm -hmm. I think children don't, kid, adults don't always realize how impacting the things they do in front of their oh, children yeah. are. Yeah, right. And just to see that, it made me have a love for the Bible yeah. where I wanted to read the Bible. Yeah. Um, another another thing my dad did that really impacted my life. Now, all of these kids, five kids he was raising, and there came a time when his company was closing down and they had layoffs. This yeah. was some years mm -hmm. later. We were teenagers. And his boss was actually a man from Honduras, very good, wonderful family. And when he came to the layoffs, they were actually going to keep my dad like over his boss, his supervisor. And my dad said, no. He said, lay me off and give him the position, which wow. I thought was huge. Like that's how I grew up seeing sacrifice. And that was, I mean, treating people like he wanted, would have yeah. wanted to be treated. Right, right. Like seeing Jesus in him, yeah. actions like that. That's wow. a beautiful yeah. example. That's that golden rule yeah. Jesus talked yeah. about. Yes. Do unto yeah. others as you would have them do unto you. That's because your dad, because of what he's learned in the word of God, I'm sure mm -hmm. over those years, yes. is to put God first, knowing that God's his source. That's right. God's yes. our source, not, yes. not the job, source. not the government, you know, yes. not other people, mm -hmm. but God himself. I yeah. love that because it even yeah. causes me to look back on my life and there's things um, that you look back on and you're like, wow, my mom, my dad, they instilled that into me. They didn't even realize it. I can remember going to sleep and having my mom crack open that Bible and start reading. And I'd be like, what are you reading, mom? Just curious. And there were so many learning moments that mm -hmm. she took advantage. A lot of the times parents, they might want to get their kid, here, go play with this or get out of the way, get out of the yeah. kitchen, you know, all that. Yeah. But she took that time to embrace that moment and to say, you know, God loves you. Let, let's read it together. And because she took the time to do that, I am who I am today. And I just think it's so great to look back at those memories and to know, yeah. man, you have a God wonderful mom. It. You got to bring do. your mom on here. Oh, one okay, time. come on, Stephanie. Let's <laughs> she go. Is so, let's she's do so it. precious, so fun. Oh, too. I love my mom. Such great. She got a big personality. She does. I wonder where I get it from. Sometimes yeah. look in the she, mirror. You were just saying, Chrissy was just saying earlier. Yeah. She calls her mom every morning. Every so morning. So y'all are very close. I well, love I that. get a text yes. from my mom every morning. In fact, <laughs> I may have already gotten it. You know, she had a little uh, issue yesterday. Was uh, but she's doing great oh, today. But I. I always get a text. I just I don't really have those great memories like you have about growing up with the Bible was first yeah. place first place we we really didn't go to church unless it was Christmas or Easter mm -hmm. or something like that yeah. and I grew up Catholic. And uh, and I don't have memories of going through the Bible and all that but I do have a really great memory that I'd love to share with you girls and with all of you that are watching today because at one point in our life my brother was very very sick and in fact he was going he had to go get his tonsils out but they had taken too much of it out and he was bleeding and they couldn't hardly stop it they didn't know if he would make it and i remember a moment where mom gathered all of us and we knelt and I'm going to cry. we knelt around the bed yes. and prayed for him we didn't know to pray but god used that moment to really impact my life I remember we prayed because we really thought he was gonna, wasn't going to make it through the night, and God healed him. He went home Jesus. about two years ago as well. Oh. But we had all those years. We only had one brother. He was like a dad to us because mom and dad divorced early, and he was so precious. But just knowing the power of prayer, even if you don't know God, even if you haven't been raised in the church, 
God is so merciful. Yes. yes. You heard Jesus. our prayer that day. Yes. Oh, and I believe God had me share this because there, no matter what you're going through, yes, just Jesus. trust in God. Just you know, if you don't know how, you've never, married, never ever even maybe prayed seriously. But if you turn to God and trust Him with your whole heart, He will hear you and answer your prayer. And that's what He's done for all of yes, us. We've beautiful. all experienced this. Yes. You can experience yes. that today. I want to hear from you. If you've been touched by this, maybe there's a prayer request that's on your heart. We can agree with you. Yes. So make a comment and let us know uh, what, what you want us to pray with you about. And we're going to believe with you. The you know, Bible tells us where two or more agree is touching anything. It's done by our Father in oh, heaven. You, I Jesus. believe that will be happening today oh, as well. I love well. that. Amen. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. memory. And God prompted your mom yes. in that moment. She knew even though maybe you weren't in church every Sunday, mm -hmm. he dropped that Holy Spirit inside of her to prompt her to know what to do at the right moment. Mm -hmm. And to, to think that we're sitting here today in Studio C, your studio sharing that, it just blesses There's me so much. There's something about a story. There's something about a memory mm -hmm. that... Like you said, of your father so many years ago, but it's still so real and so yes. current. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what heaven's going to be like? Oh, Ooh, it's all good. Glorious. That's glorious. Living 24 yes. 7 all the yes. time, overflowing. Know. Yes. Now, look at these yeah. beautiful Bibles that you have here that you brought here today. Thank you for sharing yes. that. I have a collection of Bibles myself that almost look like this. <laughs> That's because <laughs> I've gone through them. And I, I mean, I've get so many Bibles over the years, but I've kept. Them. I, I remember I've given away like two of them, mm -hmm. but I've kept them and they get worn because you've been, they've been used. Yes. And I could tell these have been used. Yes. And I, Jesse had us write down one time he wrote, and I have it in a few of my Bibles. He says, if, you're li if your Bible's torn, apart, torn apart, your life is not. Oh, wow. oh I love good. that. Isn't that. I never wonderful? heard that. I love that. If your yes. Bible is torn apart, your life is not. Oh. It means because you've used it. You put the yes. Word of yes. God in your heart. And the Word of God is eternal. It yes. is a lamp unto our feet. It's a light yes. unto our path. And it's the answer to any situation that we oh, encounter Jesus. in life. Yes, and yes. Jesus is wow. the Word of wow. God. He was manifested in the flesh. God's Word manifested and came to us as a baby. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's... I, I got to know him when I was just 20 years old, almost 21, and it's radically changed my life. And yes. just thinking about all of our stories, how, how God's impacted our life, and your story, your life has been changed because your father's yes. aunt, yes. your bro, your uh, great aunt, your father's yes. aunt, yes. raised him in the ways of the Lord. Yes. And when he got old, he didn't depart from it. Yes. That's a yes. promise. Yes. And you're importing yes. that to your yes. grandchildren yes. as well. And you know, I really <clears> believe you're saying about prayer, like y'all pray for your brother. I believe that... It was it was the prayers of my great aunt that where my family's oh, yes. where it is like salvation and most of everybody most of the people are saved mm -hmm. like even through through the generations my siblings their kids you know the majority but God answered her <clears throat> prayers and she crossed over into heaven and He's still answering her prayers. That's right. You know? Oh wow, I love that. But God, God's faithful. And, and one other thing with my dad, you know, one time there was a lot of a lot of family members, <clears throat> but there was an inheritance that kind of went the wrong way, and it came to my dad, and he felt it should have went to someone else. And he gave he gave him a house and the, all the inheritance, and you see, hardly see things like that anymore. Right. So the point is, his heart, his life, yes. was greatly impacted because there was a woman who loved God and raised him the right way, and he he did the same thing in our family. Yeah. So years went by, and and this is the thing, people. Again, you know, God never forgets anything. Yeah. God's always looking to reward our labor mm -hmm. of love, and He sees. He's so so <clears throat> gracious. Mm -hmm. God's so gracious, so faithful, so wonderful. Yes. And um, some years, about a 30 or 40 year span, when my parents, um, you know, live, my dad is in heaven, but my mother still lives. There were there were uh, 13 different people on the street, on each side of the block, a small city blocks, 13 different people that came down with different forms of cancer mm -hmm. over 30 or 40 mm -hmm. years. And and I, all I can say is that the mercy and goodness of God, it, like you said, through the generations, right. the only the <clears throat> only people that survived out of thirteen people were my, was my dad. He survived the cancer. Mm -hmm. He had the the lymph node cancer. My brother also, mm -hmm. and my brother was a young man. He was you know in his forties and and fifties when it happened. Mm -hmm. And my niece was a three year old little girl, wow. one of my brother's daughters, who had a, a Wilms tumor in her kidney. It's it's kidney uh, a cancerous. 
uh, tumor in the kidney, and she's going to make. She's 21 years old right now, and she is getting married next oh, next October, <clears throat> and she's in. She's marrying a wonderful Christian young man. She loves the Lord, so we just see it from generation to generation. Uh, all I can do, like I could almost cry, like what you were doing, because when you think about the goodness of yes. God, God is faithful. God is faithful and he loves us and he's always prompting us, always drawing us, always always wanting to keep us from, from harm and, you know, just loving us, <clears throat> wanting us of things coming yes. in. He's just good. And even though things might not always go like we think, if we just continue, like you said, to trust God mm -hmm. and just put our faith and our trust in Jesus, yes. you know, not try to do it ourselves, yeah. but just trust and give it over to God. God really takes care of his people. He does. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a great legacy. I yeah, love hearing so all blessed. these stories. I didn't know, and I've known you for years, but I didn't know all those details yes. about your dad. It's wonderful yeah. sharing it. And I, I think I interrupted you when you're talking about how your dad gave up his job for someone else. What happened right there? When well, the, his they they had layoffs and they had a downsize the company, so his immediate supervisor, he, he was a man from Honduras, so my dad felt like my dad could probably get another job, but the and man wouldn't be able to. Job? So so um, he did, but okay. it was it was much later, but he laid down his position mm -hmm. for the other man, you know, because he didn't want him to lose his job, you know, with his family. He had a family as well. It's but so the Lord selfless. always provided for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? I love that. I think that's amazing. And I just feel <clears throat> led to share this. There may be some people out there right now, they feel like what they're doing is a waste. Maybe they keep continuing to bring their children to church and they see them depart from the faith. Don't give up and just know that you have promises from heaven, that your family, is, it's in Christ and that he's always going to be there for your family. He will bring you through. I just feel led to say that because so many people say, oh, it's not working. I just want to give up. They don't see immediate results, mm -hmm. but just stick with it because it will happen. You will see those manifestations and those miracles in your life when you keep obeying God. I love that. And yes. your aunt, uh, even though you, like you said, you walked away, you came back. Yes. Because Chrissy was just talking about that. So parents can't give up. Let's pray for the people that are watching today, Kathy. Yeah. I want you yes. to lead us in Thank a prayer you. for them okay. uh, because I know that they're, they're here on purpose. God yes. has brought them here to yes. touch their life. Let's just go ahead and lead us in Thank a prayer you, for Lord. whatever is on your heart. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just pray right now for everyone that hears, Lord, and watches this program. Lord, Thank we pray. You, we just pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just go and touch each one. Yes, we Lord. pray, Lord, for those that feel hopeless, they feel helpless, people that are dealing with oppression, depression, and Thank fear. You, God, we just pray, Thank Holy Jesus. Spirit, that you would just flood them right now. Flood the room where they're at, Lord, wherever yes. they're at, whatever they're doing. We just pray that would, you, you would just arrest them right now where they would see what's going on, they would hear what's going on, and they would find hope. We yes. come against our hopelessness. We drive out hopelessness, despair, yes, helplessness. Yes, we break Lord. oppression and depression. We yes. come against that spirit of fear, yeah. and we yes. say, no yeah. more. No more fear in Jesus' name. Amen. We just thank you, Lord. We release peace. Thank and, Lord, you, Lord, we just pray for anyone that's listening that does not know you, that's never made a decision for you, Lord. We pray that today is a day of salvation. Mm that they would just, just right now just call out to you, Lord, and give their hearts to you. Anyone who's been away from you, thank you. God, that they'll be drawn back. Holy Spirit, draw each heart back. And God, we just thank you, Lord, for peace. We release peace. Even in our, the current economy, we just drive out all fear associated with inflation and just fear people are dealing with, Lord, in the world we live in. Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that your word works through the generations, Lord. Yes. Your, wor your word spans the centuries. And God, we thank you that the word of God never changes. Lord, you never change. Right. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. And if you could do it thank for you, Kathy Lord. and her family with saving her brother that day, yes. if you could do things in my life that you've done thank and in my you, family, yes. we thank you, Lord, that you can do it for the people yes. listening and watching yes. right now. Yes. And we just release hope to the hopeless. Yes. And thank we you, thank Lord. you, Lord, that you're rescuing people from heaven. You're, you're sending help from heaven to yes. rescue them you're, where you can be the savior of their lives. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. And we just thank you, Lord. God, thank you for dealing with every heart. And we thank you, Lord, that people are surrendering in Jesus' name. Ooh, Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Amen. name. What a blessing. Ooh, the peace thank of God. God. I'll tell you what. I, I can stay it. in this all day. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so precious because, you know, God is so real. Mm -hmm. It's been real in our lives. And I believe that he's real in your life today. If you're Amen. watching, please let us know what you've prayed about. We want to stay in agreement with you and mm -hmm. also know that God is has a great future for your That's life. Right. I believe people don't 
one they, this part of the reason for this program is because I want people to know that God really does have a glorious life for you. Yes. The enemy is the one who comes to steal, to kill, yes. and to destroy. Jesus yes. said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. And that's why I call it a glorious life. It's such a glorious life. <laughs> My gosh, it was just so great to hear the generations and how the obedience from, from your great aunt to your father, through your family, now you're leading a church with your husband, your children, your grandchildren. It, well, it makes me so, just wells me up inside to see the goodness of God and how you get to share every every day with the people you love and, and to let them know that there's a God that loves them. Mm -hmm. And can, if they did it for you, they can do it for them. Amen. He can do it for them. Jesus is so faithful. Yes. And really all things truly are possible with him. And regardless of what anyone's going through, God can turn it around. Yes. He, he, he really can, and He wants to. Yeah. He wants to turn things around. He wants to help people. Mm -hmm. But we have to surrender and let God do it. Yes. You know, we have to just say yes to Jesus. Give Him our yes and follow through. You know, live for God. Amen. You know, and serve God. And, and just when we lived for the devil and hell, we went all the way with it. Mm -hmm. we, it's time that we really go all the way with Jesus mm -hmm. and pull out all of the stops and just say, God, I, I'm your yours, your will, whatever you want from my life, I, I want God. Amen. I surrender. Yeah, Amen. and I believe that people that watch Amen. today, they're like, they prayed their prayer along with us yes. and, and their lives have been changed and, and it's so exciting to know that every day with Jesus, it gets sweeter and Amen. sweeter as the old song says, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, Amen. all of this is made possible by, because of our wonderful partners yes. and I know y'all have been partners with our ministry. We're, you and your husband are spiritual sons and daughters Yes, with we're us. so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> we get to hang out, but yeah. you know, our partners help us to do this yeah. and all the other different programs and things that we do. So thank you for being a partner. If you'd like to become a partner and you're not, you can always do that by going to JDM.org, use PayPal or text, text to give, or you can mail in your donation. All that information is on the screen. Just know that when you sow, you're sowing into good ground that's helping us spread the good news about Jesus all over the world. And so many lives are being impacted yes. uh, that, you know, we'll, we won't even know about it until we get to heaven. Oh, I can't wait. We can all talk about it <laughs> together know? around the throne room of that's Jesus. Right. Isn't that that's great? Right. That's so fun. Such a blessing to know God. And you know, as we're approaching the Thanksgiving season, I just want to encourage everyone everybody that's watching, you know, just re think about a story. And when you gather around with mm -hmm. families, even if everybody takes the time to tell one story mm -hmm. and a great memory of how their God has touched their life or a special thing they prayed for and saw an answer for, how wouldn't that be a wonderful way to just give thanks to God? Just, instead of thank you just for the food, Thank yeah. you for your for Jesus. Yes. Thank you for yes. what you've done in my life. And, oh, I love this. And, I, and we, we do that around our table. I'm looking forward to that. I'm thinking about a story now that I'll be able mm -hmm. to share that'll impact my granddaughter and my daughter yes. and my son-in-law and Jesse. And it's it's going to be great. It's so important mm -hmm. to share the goodness of God and then have a good meal too. That's always, <laughs> it's a plus, right? Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you for the dessert, the pecan pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. the turkey, the oyster dressing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. mama makes oh, the my... best oyster dressing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you going to bring some for me? Sure. My mom is just pretty good, too. <laughs> well, maybe we can have a t contest and bring it all. Yeah, that's good stuff. Fine. Yeah, we have so much to be thankful for. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Kathy, yes. for being here today. Thank you. With yes, us thank and Chrissy. You. Thank you for always being on the program, I being such it. a blessing in my life. Thank and thank you for watching today. I hope you'll watch me next week right here at uh, in Studio C for another glorious living. God bless you. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.